In this tutorial, we'll be reviewing the various options you've got for saving your work in Pro Tools. From the File menu, they are Save, Save As, Save, Copy In. We'll also be discussing Revert to Saved. Having these options is pretty useful for managing your work since your session files can take up a lot of space and you've got to keep them well organized and archived. The first thing I want to mention is that you need to get used to saving your work very frequently with the Command S or Control S keyboard shortcut. Just make a habit of doing it every few minutes while you're working at your station. As you suspected, this keyboard shortcut is indeed the equivalent of the File Save menu. It leaves the current file open for you to continue working on while it saves it. It's critical that you make a habit of saving frequently. In fact, I've developed the habit of working permanently with my left pinky and middle fingers attached to the Control and S keys on this keyboard. Let's take a look at our next option, Save As. Save Session As dialog window opens. The Save As command creates a duplicate file with whatever name you choose and then leaves the duplicate open for you to continue working. It's stored in the same place as your previous file and it doesn't move any of the audio files. You see here that I've got a few different versions already in this folder. Any new audio files that you create from this point onward will still be stored in the same audio folder. This is a good way to save alternative arrangements or to save iterations of your work as you go along. Doing incremental backups, let's say you save one version of a file per day or per hour, is helpful in case you encounter some file damage. It also lets you go back to a previous state in case you've changed your mind about your current arrangement. Let's change the file name to homily, leave a date on, and B. Press Save. Currently, the new file we've just saved is now open for us to continue working. Our next option is Save Copy In. This saves copies of the session file, as well as the audio file and all other files you're using. This is a useful option when you're streamlining a session draft into a more final or the final version. It also can help you cut out files and fades you're not using anymore. When you choose Save Copy In, you leave your existing file in its current location. The existing file remains open. You're going to want to choose a new folder for this so you don't get confused. Let's create a directory for it, a good idea with all of your projects. I'm just going to fix this typo here. OK. And clicking Save gets me into the new folder. OK. I do have a few parameters and options down below that I need to take a look at. We can opt to change the bit depth, the sample rate, and the audio file type. We can choose from between a WAV and an AIFF format. I also have some file type options up above. I can save it as a previous version of Pro Tools. If I choose 5.1 to 6.9, I check here so it opens in either Mac or Windows. I have some fader gain options as well. You can also choose whether the maximum volume boost permitted by track faders is 6 or 12 decibels. Version 6.4 and under only support the 6 decibel option. Let's save it in the current Pro Tools file format. And now let's talk about the parameters at the bottom of this window, items to copy. I can choose which items I want to copy to the new directory. I can choose all audio files. I can choose not to copy the fade-in files. I can choose to copy all non-wave audio files, such as AIFF files, MP3s, etc. If I check here, I can copy movie and video files. Checking here will copy any settings I've made to plugins that I use in this session. If I check root plugin settings, I will copy main plugin setting folders also. This is useful when, let's say, you're moving sessions from one Pro Tools system to another, which may not have your saved and favorite plugin settings. It copies your saved plugin settings whether or not you've used them in this session. Okay, let's cancel out of this. Let's go look at revert to saved. This is a very handy command. This opens the last saved copy on your disk. Basically, it undoes everything you've done since you last saved. Now be careful because some changes you can't undo and Pro Tools will give you a warning when this is the case. 
For example, let's say you've deleted a file from your hard drive using the clear command from the local region lists menu. My options here are to remove the selected regions from this session or to delete them from my disk. If I choose delete, I can't undo this later. When you select the revert to saved command, Pro Tools will ask you for confirmation. I can click revert or cancel and it'll restore for me. Now if you find that your computer has done the unthinkable and crashed before you saved your session, you probably haven't lost the actual audio takes that you'd already finished. That's because every time you press stop after recording, the file is saved for you automatically in the audio files folder. You'll be able to see it in your regions list too. You can re-import them from the audio files folder or just from the regions list. However, you have lost any mixing or MIDI work, any region edits, or any of your work with plugins. All of that will be lost if you haven't saved. So the moral of this story is save, 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 command or control S over and over and over, every few commands. And this concludes our tutorial on save options.